if you're pathetic. Before we grab the elevator piece, there's something I need to do first. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Wait, no, nap, nap. I tried fixing you so many times, but you are just unfixable. Enough is enough. Hi, you're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Agree. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is... One of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab-Nab or the Captain can help. 
Captain. As expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Wait, get down! That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Three birds with one stone. I get all of your key cards. I get the perfect specimen. And I don't have to deal with that thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on. I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this glass. Like you're in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious. And I was all out of sedatives. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I, I know it. But there was one thing I didn't lie to you about. And that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I too am I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both, that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no, you've gotta go. There is an elevator in Opilla Bird's walkway. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. No liver, no intestines, but most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. Finally awake. Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. So, Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Opila, what do you think about this? Awesome. Captain, what about you? 
Captain. Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats. You can run away, but the smell of your pancreas will always draw me to you. Stop it, you two. When the Queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just no, it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is.